Carlos Martinez Rodriguez. I am 22 years old. I'm originally from Oceanside, California. I was born in the hospital of the Marine base in Camp Pellington. I currently live in Big Alta, Puerto Rico. I have basically lived all around the world, to Virginia, Florida, New California, Japan. Starting off with my dad, he was a regular rebel surfer in Puerto Rico. He got sent to the States to finish studying because he would skip school and was like, I'm just gonna go surfing. So he graduated over there, came back down, decided to marry my mother. They've been together since she was 12 years old. <laughs> and after that, he enlisted in the Marines. He originally enlisted in the Army, worked for them for four years. He realized that's not what he wanted to do. Dropped out, then enlisted in the Marines. They went to Okinawa. My brother, who is 26, he's four years older than me, so yeah, 26. 26 years old, was born in North Carolina. My brother is not rebellious but he's not good when it comes to studying. My mom, she had to drop out of high school to take care of her siblings. Um, she ended up getting her GED because of my grandparents, because my grandpa was a mathematics teacher, my grandma was principal. Um, my mom is more dependent on my dad. She's never really like formed who she is individually, like as a person. None of them went to university. None of them ever graduated university. My brother started, failed, dropped out. I am the first university graduate in my family. My dad was very strict on education. When I was little, it was more like, you're going to focus on education on your own. You're not really gonna ask for help. If you don't know how to do it, you're gonna figure it out, even if it's wrong. So it was very strict, it was very rough, but in a sense it was better because I was able to form individuality in that sense and was be able to be more independent. Like if I needed help, I would go for it on my own and I wouldn't rely on my parents. Um, my mom was kind of just like more go with the flow, kind of like just proud of me because I was doing what I was doing and she didn't want me like stressing over it. So she was like, if you can't handle it, just like take a break, it's okay. My dad was more like, if you can't handle it, push yourself harder. You're not doing like enough. So I originally enrolled in university to go to optometry. That is why I enrolled in biology because it's like the most general form of science to like branch off into other future science or medical careers. Um, while I was in my second year, I realized that I still do like optometry, but it's not really something I want to like do for the rest of my life. And in my first year of university as well, I started getting involved a lot in animal rescue. So I basically decided to change my career choice to veterinarian because of my frustration of not knowing how to help the animals I was trying to rescue. Seeing an animal on the verge of death and not knowing what to do was probably my breaking point to wanting to be a veterinarian. I am going to do a, an associate's degree, I think it's what it's called, in vet tech, veterinary technician, to then when I graduate from that, supposedly it should be next year that I graduate from that, that I should be going to my DVM in veterinary. My plan now that I have graduated is to basically continue studying veterinary in the military. That requires that I apply to select amount of schools within the United States in veterinary schools. And basically they select the school I go to. So I have no idea where I will go. But all I know is it is within the United States. <laughs> Someone was watching this right now. The advice I would give them is to pick your choice because of like your career choice, your future career choice. My word of advice for you would be just like do what you feel like you honestly, genuinely, truly want to do and can continue doing happily. Don't do something because you think it's more impressing or because your family will be more proud of you just by the name of the title. Like. 
at one point I wanted to study photography and I didn't continue through it because photography is something that's not really looked up on as like a proud thing to do but I don't regret continuing to veterinarian of course but it's something that I also would have liked to have my biggest most personal raw vulnerable struggle was not always having my dad involved in my life and I don't mean that like my parents are still happily married they've been married for almost 30 years now it's not that he like disappeared because he wanted to but because of the military lifestyle my dad I would say was probably if you add all the months and days and years and everything he was involved probably wouldn't even add up to 10 years and I'm 22. He was never really around which made my family, not my family, but me personally struggle more because my mom isn't a very independent person. She is very dependent and she needs to have someone like to be her rock. And I do have an older brother but his personality is more like my mother's. My personality is more like my father's. So in that sense, I had to be like her rock. I had to focus on university and my struggles. And there was a point where it was just super overwhelming not having like my dad to be the rock of the family and having like me, the youngest person, like while I'm doing all this stuff, focusing on like keeping things together over here and helping everyone over here and also helping my friends because in that sense I'm also very selfless and I always put everyone else before me so that's another struggle and there was just a point also where my dad was probably gone for three years while my like he was gone from 10th to 11th grade and then came back for 12th grade and gone from my first year to like my third year. And that transition, it seems silly like after graduating high school, it's a big transition to university life, but it's very stressful for someone, especially when you're moving out on your own and leaving your mother who you feel needs your help and is basically begging you not to go so there was a moment where I was thinking like maybe I should just leave this and just drop this and focus on this for now. So that was the moment where I could say I almost didn't get to where I am now. My biggest strength as an individual person would probably be that I don't really care what other people think about me. Sounds very horrible and probably very self-centered. but. I do care about other people's feelings. I don't do things to hurt people, but I also don't care like about people's judgments about me because if they don't know me and they decide to judge me without getting to know me, it sh I feel like it shouldn't be something to affect me. So I just kind of just do what I want and focus on my happiness. And I would say that that's probably my biggest strength because if you care about too much what people think, then it's gonna alternate how you react to things and how you make your decisions whether you want it to or not. And that I also went through one point in my life. Um, my biggest weakness would probably be that the people that I am close to, I put above anything else. Meaning, if I have to sacrifice something that I really want to, to help someone that I really care about, I will do it without thinking twice. And that's a good characteristic to have in a human being because it makes the world better, but it's also a horrible weakness because you sacrifice things that may be better for you just to help someone you care about. A fun fact about me, the person who wants to study veterinary, is I have seven dogs, Lily. Chispy, Fabi, Emmy, Gizmo, Binta, Kaloa, and Penelope. My original hobbies, which I have not done in years, is drawing and reading. 
And my other hobbies that I have done pretty recently is like just randomly going out and adventuring. Recently, my biggest adventure was Europe, which was super random. I literally just graduated and was like, you know what, I kind of just, let's just go to Europe. My dad was like, let's go. And I was like, okay, let's go. Um, other than that, like if, you know, if Europe is a big stretch because it's expensive, you got to really plan for it. But like things around home, I also, if I wake up and the weather's nice and I have time and I'm like, okay, let's see what are things to do. Like go river tubing or go to the beach in Rincon or something like that. Like I like to do things like that. I watch a lot of anime, which probably is the geekiest thing I can admit to. But I do and I enjoy it and I do not care what people think about that. People usually discover that later on and they're like, you don't look like a person who would like anime. And I'm just like, who's the kind of person that likes anime? What are they supposed to look like? But yeah. And if you were to look back now at yourself. Okay. And you were to give yourself maybe some advice, what would that be? If I were to look back at past Corrales and give her advice, sounds so basic and corny, but it would be like just to not give up in the stressful moments because there were moments where the pressure just felt like it was too much because of university, because of family problems, problems with social life, friends, you know, in the moment you feel like some things are important when they're really not, so it's just like too much pressure and you just feel like you just want to stop and Thanks to that, I probably failed a couple of exams, which I could have done better in, and also not leaving things till the possible last time. Thank you for watching. Um, as you already know, we're gonna be posting content every two weeks. On Instagram, we normally post what we're up to and when we publish. So feel free to follow us on Instagram, Science Failure Soul, um, just so you can be up to date to the content that we're about to release. Um, also, of course, we have the blog. Feel free to comment, subscribe, email us if you want um, with any suggestions, um, with constructive criticism, with collaboration ideas, and so on. Um, just feel free to make this space whatever you want it to be. Thank you, once again, many blessings. May the force be with you.